This 18 month old dog is doing hunt training into a face wind. Always go from a standing start as you would in a competition, quietly taking the lead off and casting out. By giving her a double pip on each turn, she'll become accustomed to hearing that when she turns and will ultimately turn on the whistle. I encourage her to run wide and keep her nose up. If she gets bogged down with ground scent, she'll either be pipped on or called back towards me and pushed out again, as here. She's a fast dog and I must be quick off the mark making my turns and moving so that she's not waiting for me, which would encourage her to back cast. You must allow your dog to check out ground scent, but not allow them to dwell over long, and here she does just that and is pipped on. When you're hunt training, avoid getting into the hedgerows where there's a lot of ground scent. Keep your dog running a pattern out in the open. And notice here she touches and indicates the scent that she dwelt on on the previous cast. And because she's changed direction too early, she's pulled back and pushed out to finish the cast. So the important thing about this is that you're managing her hunting. She's doing it naturally, but you're managing it completely and creating a partnership where she is absolutely hunting for you. And that's, you know, the most important formative lesson here. She's not hunting for herself. To keep this energy and drive, she doesn't need to be over hunted at her young age. Five or six minutes in a session is plenty. Here she's suddenly indicating birds in a hedgerow that I know are well ahead. But I don't want to make a lot of it as they're that far off. And she does it again just here. It's a very strong wind on this day and she's taking scent a long way off. So in these conditions, I wouldn't show her my interest in a point until she was more sure once she was closer to the birds. So we did a good five minutes of this hunt training and I was pretty happy with that. She's now going to be called in and given a little retrieve, uh, which she loves retrieving and it's a nice reward because she's worked well. There's good distraction of a bit of game scent, which we've just seen she's acknowledged. And uh, we've got some cattle in the field, so a few things to think about. She gets the hunt whistle, again just to build the association between hearing that whistle and picking the dummy. And then once she's back, as always, don't be in a hurry to take the dummy and move your hand to stroke her so she's not used to spitting out the moment she sees a hand coming towards her. It's great fun hunt training, but always stop before they start to tire. Enjoy your dogs!